I'm Matt, he's Jared, we're the New West guys. So you're thinking of going to a couple open houses this weekend. These are the top three things you need to know to be prepared. Stick around to the end and we'll give you a little bonus fourth tip as well. And we would love it if in the comments below you could share any of your top tips for open houses. Of course, there's more than three. These are just our favorite three we think everybody needs to know. So tip number one, plan your route. So you might be trying to see three, maybe four open houses. Um, you might be going for the, the geographical thing. So you're kind of hitting them all in order and not neighborhood pockets. Yeah. And not backtracking too much. Um, but another important thing to look at is when are the open house times? Traditionally, you'll see them from two to four. It's the most common. Yeah. Matt and I, we like to do things a little bit differently. So we'll start some of our opens a little bit early and then we'll also have them a little bit later. So all the folks can go to their two to four opens and still feel like there's time to have a look at one of ours. Yeah. You can squeeze an extra one in there, right? Some of them and start a lot earlier, right? Uh, top tip for that too, if you're going to an area and you're driving and you're worried about parking, put that at the very beginning of your tour if you can. Mm, and that point. makes it easier to get started, get that parking spot and then move on efficiently to the next one. Right. Okay, so you're gonna be seeing maybe three or four places. That's right. But you might want to fit in. You get we get guys sometimes coming out to open houses. You see that they uh, they're potentially going for five the big or list. six different <laughs> listings. And one of the biggest mistakes when you're doing that is they all start to blur together. When we're doing tours, even just privately for our clients, for our buyers, uh, we only like to do four. So if you are going to hit those extra listings, tip number two is going to help you. You need to take notes. Very very important. When they start blurring together. You're not going to be able to remember at the end of the day, which was the one was that one you might start mixing the, them I've up. I've seen people like blur the nice kitchen and the nice bathroom together into one house. Two different <laughs> listings. <laughs> so either a pad of paper or just have your phone ready to take notes, but, but be mentally prepared, some kind of mechanism to jot down some of the most important features of the properties. So when you finish at the end of the day, you know what, what, what's what. Definitely a good point. Brings us on to tip number three. So you're ready to, you've planned your route, you have your note-taking device, you're leaving the door. What do these people need to know before they leave the door of their house to go to the open house? Bring the right shoes. <laughs> and this is coming from a guy that likes to wear laces. Um, bring something that's, you know, wear something that's got uh, that slip-on ability um, because nine out of 10, these open houses are gonna make you want to, you know, take your shoes off. Yeah. Um, and everyone's level of cleanliness is a little bit different. Yeah. So you're taking your shoes off, wear socks. Ah, that's another important, important <laughs> one. God, just because they're making you take your shoes off doesn't mean the floor is that clean. Yeah. You might want to burn your socks after. You've been warned. Or what was your other uh, piece of advice if you don't want to wear socks or pro, take your shoes off? The pro tip, we don't see this as often. You have the occasional realtor around town that'll have them, but um, like the moving company slip on. Oh, you booties. put them over the shoe. You actually yeah. just pull them on. Looks like you're working at a hospital. Um, those will work. You won't even have to touch your shoes and you shouldn't, uh, the realtors that you open shouldn't give you any guff about that. Cool. Bonus tip number four then. Yeah. If we're talking about wardrobe, uh, is do think about what you wear when you come to the open house. I mean, as the open house host, we always think about what we're wearing. Jer, you're a little more casual than me. Always be a little bit less. You won't see me wearing a tie. You'll uh, you'll be the tie guy. I like the tie. I like the tie. But it, it applies to you too as the open house guest. If you dress down just too low down that bar, uh, they might not take you seriously at the open house. Yeah, it's a good good point to make. I think that's about it. You are ready. Let us know if you have any questions about this. You want to chat a little bit more. You've got the comments below. Thanks for watching our video.